Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to tell you about some interesting news out of Rome. Uh, this was presented at Digestive Disease Week. And what the researchers did was they were endeavoring to create a test for gluten sensitivity, which is a great idea. We definitely need um, a more reliable test for gluten sensitivity. And um, we use the anticlyadin antibody. We also use elimination and provocation. Uh, but we don't really have the perfect test yet. And this one's interesting. So what the researchers did was they took 20 people with known gluten sensitivity and they used an oral patch that they placed inside their mouth above their upper lip. So just inside the mouth on the mucosa there, on the lining of the uh, inner lip. And um, what they did was, what was on the patch was 1.2 milligrams of gluten, which doesn't sound like a lot. However, uh, after two hours, they removed the patch, and what they found was that 80% of those that they tested had um, swelling and blistering in the area where the patch was. The researchers felt that that likely mimicked what was happening internal in the gastric uh, mucosa, so the lining of the intestines, uh, because of course the mouth is an extension uh, of your GI tract. So uh, they felt that that was mimicking what was occurring, so that was a positive reaction. Um, but also 50% of the people that had just the oral patch for two hours uh, got bloated, which shows you how quickly that uh, what was in the mouth got into the gut, even though it was such a small amount. That's what really impressed me, only 1.2 milligrams. Um, and another, let's see, 11% of those that were part of this study experienced diarrhea within 24 hours. Now these were not celiacs, these were people with uh, gluten sensitivity according to the researchers. So I think what's, what the takeaway here is one, it would be exciting if we had um, a great test that was highly reliable, so we can keep our fingers crossed about that. Um, but two, I think the fact that we're talking about 1.2 milligrams, which is a very small amount. It's within the threshold of what's considered safe, yet uh, it wasn't certainly safe for these people, you know, getting blistering inside their mouth, uh, having bloating, having diarrhea. So um, that's my only kind of question is, is it a good test if it creates that kind of damage then? Um, it might be too much. So I'm sure they're working it on the pop proper threshold to get a good response and then actually not cause damage and not uh, create a response that would um, uh, line up and move toward autoimmune disease or an anything like that because certainly we know it doesn't take much, uh, especially when somebody's been off gluten, to really overstimulate that immune system and get a really negative response. So we wouldn't want that, but um, I think it's promising. I think it's uh, some very interesting information. So uh, gluten sensitivity, as we know, affects a lot more people than celiac disease. We don't have the perfect test for it yet. Um, I certainly feel like here in the clinic, between the, the blood tests that we do and the elimination and provocation, we're, we're pretty good at finding it out. But, but a nice, easy test like something putting, putting a patch inside your mouth would, uh, would be excellent, and especially if the um, accuracy rate is really high. So I wanted to keep you up, at, up to date on that, the latest in gluten sensitivity research. And if you have any questions, I do always love to hear from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.